What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Shurkum Fingers, and I am your friendly neighborhood commentator. And today, bringing you some gameplay from Team Fortress 2, all the way from the far land of Upwards. One of my favorite payload maps, simply because it is a great map in terms of team balance. I mean, Red has plenty of choke points to filter the blue team in and to absolutely decimate them with sticky bomb traps and sentry nests. But at the same time, there are plenty of workarounds for blue. You can go along the side of a cliff, you can go through a tunnel, you can send wave after wave of medic and heavy combos. You can absolutely decimate the red team. And this is what happens in this one. We absolutely destroy the red team here. And I get a nice little ninja cap at the end, which I found very funny. So I decided, hey, why not post this video? And uh, also because I haven't done Demo Man in a while. It's been quite some time since I have done a Demo Man video. Uh, because Demo Man doesn't really suit me. And uh, I, won't, I won't lie, whenever I play class and start recording, it's a risk. You know, it's maybe a small, mitigated risk because there's really no danger to myself. But a risk is a risk nonetheless. If you risk anything, time, money, patience, um, honey, any of that stuff, you are running a risk. And uh, that's why I want to talk about in this video. I mean, I think I deserve the right to talk about running a risk. You know, I did serve in Iraq as a uh, sailor, and I did, you know, did enlist when I was 17. And those are generally big risks. I mean, more people die crossing the street in America than they do uh, die fighting a war. But you know, that's just because there's a big percentage gap. But even with the percentage, I believe it's actually similar. It's a uh, still much bigger risk crossing the street than it is uh, fighting in a foreign country percentage wise so it, you know risks are done every day if you cross the street you run a risk if you look out the window you run a risk of I don't know getting hit by a car coming flying through your win window there's no safe world and the one thing I wanted to talk about is like how a risk can pay off and then of course I always feel Iraq was a good time for me. It was a good way for me to man up and become a, a generally better person. Like I really have a profound respect for the things I have in this world and the things I have now that I am not constantly you know, in a, a state of peril. At least I don't feel it. Like I said, there's always a risk of anything happening to you. A meteorite can come crashing through the roof right now and kill me. It's a very real possibility albeit a very improbable one and what it comes down to guys is, is you have to really figure out what you want from something if, if, if you're gonna run a risk what is the real payoff and let's go back to 2007 and uh, I had just gotten the orange box and you know I really got the orange box simply because I wanted to play Half-Life 2 episode 1 I believe came out with this uh, maybe I'm wrong I think maybe it's episode 2 uh, but yeah I think it's episode 2 but regardless of what episode or what uh, what I wanted, I found Team Fortress 2 that day. And, you know, you go back to 2007 and my, me playing my first round. And I think I played as an engineer my first round because I was like, oh, sentry guns, that sounds super kawaii. And uh, it was. It was fun. And I never thought that I would be one day, you know, and maybe it's not huge, but one day 650-something subscribers deep. Um, you know, doing videos, teaching other people how to play, at least, uh, I think I'm teaching, I, I see myself as a slightly above average player, maybe not a, you know, pro super ultra Moab monster, but a decent player, and it, it's the risk of me taking my time one day to say, you know what, I'm gonna do commentaries, I'm going to try and do this, and I hate my voice, and I have, I'm very socially awkward and inept. Yeah, I figured it out, I believe. I think I figured it out. And it was many trials and, and many, many failures until I finally think I've gotten it right. And maybe I haven't gotten it perfect, but I think right and perfect are two different things. And I just like to thank you all for sticking with me for that long. I mean, I always say this, you know, like if I had one subscriber, I'd be happy. But I think it's the truth, guys. You guys are the best, and I really do love your faces. And that brings us to the end of this video. I know it's kind of short, but I thought I'd get that out of the way. Make sure you follow your dreams and run your risks and just be an awesome person, all right? And I'll see you ladies and gentlemen on the battlefield. Peace out.
Watch some of this! <laughs> 